In this video, I'll be going over um, image resizing and image cropping using a program called iFanView. Now, the website is irfanview.com. It's a free program, and um, I strongly recommend it. I use it on just about every computer that I use. And um, if you just go to iPhoneView.com and click on download, you should be able to download it like from CNET.com. So you go ahead and click on the green download button, which is right here. And when you get to CNET, um, I'll just give the page a second to load. And you should be able to click on the download now button, which will start the download. And at this point, it's basically um, downloading the software and then you don't need to do anything at this point you can see in the bottom right corner right now it's downloaded and then you can just go ahead and install it so what I'm going to do right now is just talk about using the program so um, they do have some tutorials on how to use it um, they have an FAQ section and you can you can um, do some learn about a few of the things you can do with the program right here as far as um, as far as um, maybe doing some cropping or making changes I'll let you look through the FAQs if you want but I'm gonna just go ahead and jump right down into the tutorial so on my machine right here I have some sample photos and um, I'm just gonna talk about photos in general now um, on each computer on each using this program like if when I double click I've set uh, iPhone my my um, my images open up in iPhone view and when this loads up you can see what the dimensions of the images are this one at the bottom right here it's bottom left it says it's 420 by 315 that means it's 420 pixels wide and 315 pixels tall so I'm gonna click on the arrow to go to look at the next one and this one is 717 pixels wide by 478 pixels tall and the next one is even bigger it's 900 pixels wide times 599 tall and I'm gonna to go to the, the final one and this is 200 2816 pixels wide by 2112 pixels high now this image is actually bigger than the screen and you will notice it's only displaying at 29 percent so we're really not seeing the full size of the picture so you know that this picture at 100 percent would be much bigger and if you want to see the image at 100 percent just keep clicking on the plus sign and as I do that the percentage increases so we're seeing the image right now at 82 percent and this is about 100% right here, 99%, and you can see how huge the image is. So this image is clearly too big to put on a web page because if you put this on a web page, the user would have to scroll extensively just to see it. And um, as I mentioned with the other ones, likewise, you can see that this is 900 by 599. Well, I'm going to go off the assumption, the assumption that we need to create we need to get images that are 1024 by 768 so we have these images and we want to take the one that is the flower and the butterfly and let me start off by talking about um, resizing an image to an ideal size let's just say you want to take the sunflower image the flower image and it's since it's only 29 percent and it's it's this big you want to bring it down to an ideal size of 1024 by 768 how you would you do that you would go up to the file menu I'm sorry I think it's the file menu and you would do an actually it's an image menu and image resize so you go to image and you image resize now when you go over here you'd see the values the 2816 by 2112 which are the original values in the in the bottom left corner so I, I you want to make sure that this box is checked preserved aspect ratio proportional that means when you change the value of the width it will automatically resize the height so that way it will keep a proper dimension ratio so I'm going to type in the desired value of 1024 uh, I'm going to delete that first of course and then type 1024 now when I do that 
it gave me the value of 768 for the height automatically so i don't even need to do any changes to this because this image is really ideal for our purpose so but just by doing that i get my ideal size desired height of 768 and i can say okay and then at this point i, I think you can just go and do a file and say save to the original folder so it will keep it in the same folder and then you can just say uh, flower dash maybe 1024 or add some numbers after each which would help you immediately know exactly what you're saving as so you know so there you have it so you have in your folder you now have the flower 1024 which is ideal now let's talk about a scenario where the dimensions don't come out ideal let's look at this butterfly now this is 900 by 599 let's just say you wanted to resize this I'm gonna to go to the image and do my um, the image resize then again resize resample and I want to increase this up to 1024 now sometimes if the image is too small and you try to do that what happens is that if it was a very small size like three or five hundred and you try to resize it up to 1024 you may end up with a new image where the it's no longer clear because you've tried to stretch the image too big but when i did that the image looks clear enough so really it wasn't a very big jump from 900 pixels to 1024 so when i do this the new dimension that i'm looking at is 1024 times 682 but i really would like this to be 1024 by 768 but as you can see i don't have the width of 768 here if i absolutely i can make do with this if the program will allow but if i absolutely wanted to get an image that is 1024 by 768 this is what i would do i would go back to image and i'll do the resize or resample and i would go to the height at this time since i know i would make the height 768 and now i have the width bigger than 1024 so i'll go ahead and say okay and then i would crop off a portion of the image so using the mouse i'm just going to draw a box and as i draw the box i'm going to keep an eye on the values that are in the top in the menu bar up at the top so i'm going to stretch using the mouse when i place the mouse over the box that i have on the screen the um the mouse pointer turns to a cross to a handle so i can draw this down and i know the i'm going to draw this all the way across to the side and all the way across so now for the height you can see i have my 768 but i want to drop down to 1024 because i'm working on a scenario where i absolutely want to get an image that is perfect 1024 and i'm willing to compromise losing some of the sides so i'm going to do what I, i'm going to just watch the values here at the top as i use the handle until i drop down to a value that's 1024 so as you see as we draw the handles going across um, I'm going to have to compromise to get to 1024. So what I could do is I could decide that I will bring this all the way across here and then stretch this across. And I have, so I'm going to lose a little bit of the images that are on the extreme right, the butterflies that are here. But now I have 1024. So I can shrink this back down till I have something close to 1024. And sometimes you, it's a little tricky moving the, the 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 edge of the box here until you get to 1024 now i'm 1021 1022 so i'm going to try to nudge it over a little bit and i'm on 1025 so that's really very close to the 1024 so i have a 1025 by 768 so at this point since it's just one pixel different we, we can live with that or if you want to keep trying to struggle with this let me try for a little bit long and see if i can get an exact 1024. it takes a little dexterity with the mouse sometimes to get it but it's jumping between 10 20 22 and 10 25 right now all right so i'm going to settle for 10 25 which is close enough and at this point i would go do an edit and i would say crop selection that means whatever's outside the box cut it out so i did that and i'm on 1025 times 768 
now if I absolutely positively wanted to just lose that one pixel I could just I could either just save it and and leave with the 1025 times 768 or I could just go back to the um, to the image and do a resize resample and I would uncheck the preserve aspect ratio and I'll just change this to 1024 when I have this unchecked the height will not change and say okay and now I have an image that is a perfect 1024 times 768 and I could go ahead and say um, file save to the original folder and then I'll just call this butterfly 1024 so I hope that makes sense on what I, I did there with the resizing to be able to arrive at a perfect value I had to choose between I couldn't get using the the, the handle when I was drawing the box I had a problem getting to the right value so I made a compromise I, I went to 1025 and then I did I just went back to the image resize re, resample and I, I just got rid of the extra one pixel there and since it's just really one pixel there's no distortion to the to the image overall so now we have an image that is a perfect 1024 times 768 in this video as you can see we've also we also covered the portion of cropping and um, so let me just really demonstrate that one more time let's just say we wanted to crop out only this butterfly that's here how would we do that very simple you just simply draw a box using your mouse and then just try to place it over the butterfly as best as you can and you can see that doing that I have something very close to just the butterfly in the box right now I can adjust this as much as I want till I'm happy and then I'll just go to image um, edit and I will just say crop and basically it will cut out everything else that's outside and then I can just say file um, save to the original folder and I can just call this butterfly dash one which is just the only just a single butterfly so that's the process of cropping cropping is the process where you want to eliminate a portion of the image that you don't want so you open up the image draw a box around the area you want to keep let's just say you only want to keep this area here and then you re re adjust the box until you're happy with the size of the box and then you go up to edit and you would say um, crop and then of course you would need to save this as a new image so you do a file save to the original folder and then you just type in a bird dash small or whatever you want to call the new image and that's basically the process of cropping and um, I hope you found this tutorial useful